So brining chicken might improve its flavor and help keep it moist whilst cooking, but is it worth it? It can take days of preparation, let alone a huge amount of fridge space. In this experiment, I'm gonna see whether it tastes that much better, how deep the brine penetrates into the meat, and whether other methods like using dry rubs or marinade injections taste just as good, if not better. So for this experiment, I'm going to cook three chickens. So this is our control chicken, which will have no seasoning. This one's going to be brined for 24 hours. And this one we're going to inject a marinade into. I've also got a few chicken thighs here, which I'm going to brine and inject with the addition of copper sulfate. I'll explain a bit more about that in a moment. But first up, I'm going to make up a brine. We're going to combine one liter of warm water with about 50 grams of sea salt and then mix in some aromatics. We're going to pop that in the fridge for 24 hours and let that all infuse and combine. So our brine's been in the fridge for 24 hours. I'm now going to spatchcock the chicken, dunk him in there for another 24 hours to hopefully absorb all of that lovely flavor. All right, so the chicken's had a nice long bath. I'm going to pat it dry, get a little bit of dry rub on there and set up our grill for indirect cooking around 107 degrees Celsius. So we're cooking the chicken in two stages to do a reverse sear. So at the moment they're cooking low and slow. We'll get them up to about 65 degrees internal temperature, bring them off to rest, and then we're going to get them over the line nice and hot on the charcoals. So something I've always wondered is when you brine chicken, does the brine penetrate right into the center of the meat or does it just get a few millimeters below the surface? So today I'm gonna to run a mini experiment. I've got a couple of chicken thighs here and I'm gonna brine this chicken thigh in a solution containing copper sulfate. Okay, so this is our brine solution mixed with copper sulfate. Let that brine overnight. I've chosen copper sulfate and not food coloring because the molecules in food coloring are relatively huge compared to water and salt. Um, whereas copper sulfate, they're a little bit larger, but they're more of a similar size. So a bit more of a fair test. And when we cook the chicken, cut it open, we should be able to see where that brine solution has gone. Look at that. Let me know where that's going. Doesn't that look appetizing? So this is our chicken thigh that was brined in a solution with copper sulfate for 24 hours. I'm gonna cut it open. So we can see the brine solution has penetrated the surface, but only by about five or six mil. It's not completely spread out throughout the center of the chicken thigh. Okay, it's time for the best bit. I'm gonna slice these up and then we'll do our taste test. So I've cut a breast off each of the chickens. We've got the control chicken, the brine chicken, and the chicken injected with the marinade. So first up, I'm gonna try a bit of the control chicken. The first taste that is really nice, but you can really tell like the meat doesn't have much flavor. All the flavor there is sitting on the surface. It's relying really heavily on that dry rub. So next up, I'm gonna try the brined chicken. We did get a good bit of crisp on this, which I didn't think we would. Oh, yeah, much, much better. You get that initial taste of nice barbecue chicken with, with the rub that you expect, but then the aftertaste is just as nice. You get that kind of, I wouldn't even say, like it is salty, but it's not salty. It's, it's just flavor. Big, big, big improvement on the control. Okay, and so lastly, we're gonna try the marinade injection, see how that compares against the, the brined chicken. Mm. I don't think that's as good as the brine. And it's also kind of patchy. It's sort of like almost like one bite. I'm getting like a lot of a lot of flavor, but then like I chew and then there's sort of like I have to wait again. It doesn't feel like the flavor that we've got in there has sort of evenly spread out. It's it's kind of some, sometimes you do get it, sometimes you don't. It is good though, and it is super moist. So for me, the brine chicken was definitely the winner. It wasn't a huge amount better than the marinade injected chicken, but it did taste like the flavor was a bit more evenly spread throughout. Both of these were next level compared to the control chicken. So I think really it comes down to how much time you have. If you've got the time to make a brine and brine your chicken overnight, great, that's gonna make a huge difference to the flavor. But if you don't have the time, using a marinade injection can be a bit of a kind of quick hack to get a pretty similar result, just not quite as even. So if you enjoyed this experiment, remember to subscribe, drop a comment below and click on the screen and I'll see you in the next experiment.